brought in this season. So far, she is a registered senior using that extra year of eligibility with UCLA. Here is probably the best stats that you'll hear. She has a zero ERA. One and O is her record. This is gonna be her second start of the year. Has five and a third innings of work. Has not allowed a hit or a run or even walked a batter. She has struck out 14. The UNLV, they do have a tough task upon them. And the Bruins, they do as well as UNLV is not a walk in the park. Rachel Garcia from Palmdale, California, attended Highland High School. She stands at a five foot six frame in the circle. Now Maddie Schmidt steps into the box. As we mentioned before, UCLA coming off of that double header yesterday, playing against the Gauchos. And first pitch of the ball game misses the count one and oh. A lot of overcast atop of Easton Stadium. There is some rain on the forecast. It was drizzling before the game. There is some slight drizzle still going on. But drizzle not enough to conflict with the game. We'll still play on. So a one ball, one strike count to Maddie Schmidt. And a foul tip, Garcia couldn't hang on to it. So in 2020, Rachel Garcia participated in the USA softball. She was named to the United States softball Olympic team in October of 2019 and spent 2020 with Team USA on the State Decider Tour and redshirted with UCLA. Was also named the 2019 LA Sports Awards Sports Women of the Year in January and a finalist for the 2019 Women's Sports Foundation Sports Women of the Year Award. 2-2 is waved at and missed and Schmidt goes down on strikes. First batter, first K as Lauren Tixon steps into the box. Back to back left handed batters for the center fielder Lauren Tixon is the senior. Variety of seniors in the lineup today. Tixon, 349 batting average, 7, 14 runs on 15 hits with one RBI. Does have five walks, four strikeouts, and 417 on base percentage. Tixon is able to get on. She does have eight stolen bases on nine attempts. She's only been caught once. So here's the 1-1. One -one. Tixon fans and misses the 1-1. One -one. She's down to the count now, 1-2. Garcia came out in game one of the doubleheader yesterday against the Gauchos. Only went a third of an inning to just record that final out. Trying to back up her pitcher, Holly Acevedo. Would strike out the batter to get herself out and finish up the game for UCLA. Here's the 2-2, and that one is in there for a strike three call. So back-to-back -back strikeouts here for 
Rachel Garcia. Now she'll face one of the two Trejos, Mia Trejo, on, on the Rebel Squad. So for those of you just joining us, Rachel Garcia in the circle for UCLA. Faced off against Maddie Schmidt and Lauren Tixon on back-to-back -back strikeouts. And here she is facing off against Mia Trejo. Working with a one ball, one strike count. With a gloomy overcast conditions here in Easton Stadium. The 1-1 one, one. misses high. So as we were talking about, the Bruins just coming off of that doubleheader yesterday against UC Santa Barbara. No problem. No problem with that game. Eight to nothing were the finals on both of those games on the double header. So after today, UCLA will have the week of gameplay action off to concentrate more on a big on a Pac-12 action. So now Garcia finds herself behind the count, three balls, one strike with two outs. Looking for a way to get out of the inning. Comes with a wide. Here's the three one, a fouled back. Exactly what you'd like to see if you're Rachel Garcia to get yourself back in the count. Garcia finds a sign she likes. Comes up with a wide. Here's the three two pitch. And in there for a strike three call as Rachel Garcia strikes out the side here in the top of the first. Deals with them one, two, three fashion as we go to the bottom half of the first. Rachel Garcia does quick work of the first three hitters against UNLV. So now let's bring you the starting lineups for your UCLA Bruins. Bubba Nichols will set to lead things off. Brianna Perez batting second. Aaliyah Jordan batting third. Rachel Garcia is hitting cleanup. Delaney Wiz will bat fifth. Maya Brady will be batting sixth. Alyssa Garcia will be batting seventh. Inslee Washington will be batting eighth, and Kelly Gooden will be batting ninth. So now let's bring you the starting defense for UNLV. Maddie Schmidt playing over in left. Lauren, Lauren Texan in center. Janissa Martin will be playing over in right. Then playing over at third is Lauren Barker. Samantha Diaz playing in short. Alyssa Lopez in second, Mia Trejo playing over in first, Alyssa Trejo doing the catching, and in the circle is Jenny Bresler. The junior pitcher from 
Canteen, Michigan. Attended uh, Plymouth High School. She finds herself behind the count very quickly. Three and O oh the counts to Bubba Nichols. Bresler with the wind. It takes a, takes a little bit off of that pitch. Comes in with a five and two record. 2.56 ERA. This will be her eighth start of the year, and she walks Nichols. She does have one complete game on the year with 38 and a third innings of work, 34 hits allowed, 14 earned runs, 18 walks, has struck out 47, and the opposition is hitting 231. As Perez thought about, thought about putting the bunt down, but we'll take it all the way for a call strike. Perez, the leader in a lot of offensive categories, couldn't get the bunt down that time. So she finds herself in an 0-2 count. Leads the team with runs scored, total base hits, and along, along with home runs as Perez hits one over the wall and and you can say goodbye to that one. Add that one to the collection for Brianna Perez as she now ha hits her fifth home run of the year. Just like that, we find ourselves with a two to nothing UCLA lead. As Bresler was up on the count against Perez and makes one mistake and makes it to a two to nothing Bruins lead. So here's the designated player, Aliyah Jordan. Another dangerous hitter for the Bruins. Jordan, she, she's up there with total hits with a Brianna Perez. Definitely expect these two to be going neck and neck as far as a hits compartment is concerned. 406, 12 runs, 13 hits on five doubles. She does lead the team with doubles, tied up with Delaney Wiz. Jordan does have a triple on the year with one long ball. And the 2-2 is poked over to left for a base hit. Jordan didn't do too much to the pitch. Just kind of flipped the bat over to left. Good two out, or excuse me, two strike hitting, if you ask me. So UCLA find themselves with another base runner. Here's Rachel Garcia. Garcia gonna help out in the circle and in the batter's box. She can do it all. Despite her only recording 13 at bats, she does have a 538 average. She's going to try to help out her own cause. Does have seven hits on the year with a double. So she finds herself with a one ball, two strike count. 
UCLA looking to finish up this busy week of action as Garcia goes chasing high for the first out. Delaney Wiz checking in for the first time today. Wiz takes that one high all the way, one and oh. So Wiz, game one in the doubleheader yesterday, did have a two-run scored game. Also recorded a hit and an RBI. She did hit a home run that day, so that explains it. A big time hitter in the middle part of the Bruins lineup. So far show, showing some pretty good discipline here early on. Wiz also hit a home run in game two of the double header. But she continues to show her power and the capability that she has with the bats. With those two, brings your total to five home runs. And with Perez's home run earlier in the inning, that's now both players are gonna be tied in that category. To Wiz. Full count, three balls, two strikes with one out. We'll see if Jordan takes ends up taking off. And Wiz continues to fight off the pitches, stays alive in the at-bat. So going into this week, UCLA had to play against the Tritons. This would be the first time that UC San Diego would face off against UCLA since they became a Division I program. They would play the full seven. The Bruins would win seven to one. And they continue to play, continue to play very well, continue to pitch very well. When you look at the last five games that UCLA has played, as Wiz will get on with a walk. So the last five games that UCLA has played, they have only allowed two runs. And they have shut out three of their opponents. As the Rebels will go ahead and call time. We're gonna call time to talk to Bresler. Falling behind, getting base runners on for UCLA. The last thing you want to do is the pitching coach Emily Vincent for the Rebels has a couple of words to tell Bresler. Vincent joined head head coach Christy Fox's staff as the pitching coach dating back to August of 2018 after spending that year as a volunteer assistant coach for her alma mater, McNeese State. So here is Maya Brady, working with runners on first and second. Talk about a serious bat for UCLA. This is Brady's freshman year and already been showing the power and the pop that she possesses as she hits a deep fly ball over to left field and off the glove. That's off of the glove of Schmidt. Schmidt keeps on in the ballpark, the throw to home, and Jordan comes in safely. So Schmidt hangs on with fingernails and is able to drive in a run. So 
So Alyssa Gonzalez will be up in the batter's box. And it stays as a long single for Maya Brady. Everybody in the ballpark thought that that one was gone with the connection that Brady made to the ball. Schmidt manages to keep that one in the ballpark. Now it's a 3 nothing lead for UCLA. So for those of you just joining us, Bubba Nichols started the inning off with a leadoff single followed by a home run by Brianna Perez on an 0-2 count. Then Aaliyah Jordan came up with a single to left. Strikeout by Garcia. Then Delaney Wiz with the walk. Then the one-out RBI single by Maya Brady. So the bases are juiced for UCLA. Here's Kinsley Washington. Bresler just trying to look for outs right about now. And a generous call strike there. So the infield playing in now for UNLV. Lauren Barker playing a little closer. Ground ball over to second. They make the tag to get the out, and a run will come in to score. Time's going to be called in the circle as the infield will have a quick chit chat. So the Brewers making quick work here in this bottom half of the first. They will have another game after this one, a doubleheader against UNLV. It's been a very busy inning for the Bruins, not wasting any time against Bresler. So Maya Brady able to advance on the ground ball hit by Kinsley Washington. Alyssa Garcia was runner on first. She is erased from the base path on a 4U, the tag applied by Alyssa Lopez. So with two gone, here is Kelly Gooden as the throw goes down over to second and an easy steal for Kinsley Washington. So first time today, the Bruins find both runners in scoring position. Gooden. Drops a bunt here. Tries to come in with a base hit and does just that. So collects a base hit to juice up the bases. So we'll go back to where we started. Nichols takes the first pitch inside for a called strike. So Nichols originally let off this inning and walked with her first at bat. Also, a run scored. So four runs on the board early on for UCLA. Look at almost every inning 
that UCLA plays. They just continue on stacking up runs on every inning. Very rarely will you see a zero in the innings that they play. Good spot there for Bresler. Trying to get Nichols to chase. Nichols provides a lot of experience with UCLA, it being her senior year. And here's a slow roller over to short. And there's the last out recorded 6-3 by Samantha Diaz. As UCLA, three runs, four hits, no errors, and three runners left on base as you're watching the UCLA.com stream. UCLA puts a big four spot in the bottom of the first. Let's go to the top of the second as Denise Armendariz will lead things off for the Rebels. The middle part of the order will be coming right up. Armendariz, Janice Amarian, and Alyssa Trejo in that order. And Rachel Garcia will come back to the circle. Struck out the side in the top half of the first. Retired the first three batters that she faced and continues to stack up those numbers. Going into where she sits at now, she has 18 strikeouts on the year. As the 0-1 is swung on and missed up and in. So UCLA Dating back to a full season in 2019, they are the reigning NCAA national champions. Last year did not quite have the full year that we all wanted to see, especially seeing UCLA win a championship like that, the second one for, for Coach Perez. You look at the track record for Coach Perez and just about Every year of her coaching campaign, she has helped UCLA to get to help them get to a playoff role and collect them. Here's another strikeout for Rachel Garcia. A strikeout number four for Garcia. That's three straight that are backward Ks, meaning that they're strikeout looking. Garcia not afraid to pound the strike zone. Has done an excellent job doing just that. Not just pounding the strike zone, painting the corners more importantly. Majority of the other time it's been outside corners So there goes, goes Coach Perez having a word with Garcia. As earlier we were talking about Coach winning her second championship. 
date it back to 2010 when the Bruins went 50 and 11. 14 and 7 in conference play, finished second that year. But most importantly, they finished 10 and 0 in the playoffs. Did not lose a game when in their boiling hot and when you have the momentum in your favor, like they did that year, definitely not a surprising fact to see that championship. Then you fast forward it nine years later, and now UCLA, they still sit atop of the mountain. The 2-1 puts a little heat on that pitch and misses away. Finished that 2019 year 56 and 6. Finished first also with the Pac 12 title, 20 and 4 to be exact. And there's a blooper, and that'll go over the glove of Washington. So Garcia will give up her first base hit this year, and the Rebels find themselves with the first runner of the game. First base runner for the Rebels after the first four hitters being retired via the strikeouts. Alyssa Trejo will try to get something going for the Rebels. But then after that championship year for UCLA, they had a very successful 2020 year. Could have made a case to potentially go back-to-back -back championships. They were on a roll. 25-1 and one was the record before the season had to be scheduled to do, had to be canceled due to the pandemic. So that only loss for UCLA against the Texas Longhorns dated back to February 27th of 2020. That game would go to extras here in Easton Stadium and Longhorns would capture the lead in the top of the eighth. Bruins were not able to get back, recapture the lead in that game and it went in favor of the Longhorns. So Garcia looking for another K. Uh, she gets the one there and strikes out five now. So despite that single giving up to Janisa Martin, she comes right back with the strikeout to retire Trejo. Now here's a good hitter and Samantha Diaz. Garcia with the wind. Misses inside. So you look at, you take a look at what Samantha Diaz has done. Has a very good track record indeed. If you disregard that batting average, 238 has produced some pretty good power for the Rebels. And by power, I mean home runs. She does lead the team with five, also with RBI with 19. But with that much power, comes with a lot of swings and misses. And she does have 11 of the year. And of course, with that much power with home runs and RBI, also leads the team in slugging percentage. 667 to be exact for Samantha Diaz. 
Now she's got a fight with two. One ball, two strikes with two outs. And Janisa Martin standing at first with a lone base runner for the Rebels. As the one two pitch just swung on and missed. And it, it'll be Samantha Diaz going down on strikes. So the Rebels will leave a runner stranded over at first. UCLA still with a four to nothing lead. Bottom of the second inning. Hitters two, three, and four do up for UCLA. As a new pitcher in the circle for the Rebels. She goes by the name of Kaylee Northrup. The freshman out of Richland High School. Five foot eight frame lefty pitcher. So UCLA able to put four on the board against the starter, Jenny Bresler. Bresler with all four of those runs earned on four hits. Only got through the only got through the one inning of work. She did walk two. So a bit of a slower start. Two and one now for Brianna Perez after the first at bat going yard over to right. So now Perez finds herself with a three and one count. Trying to be a good leadoff hitter for UCLA and they're gonna check over and Perez able to check her swing for ball four. So Aaliyah Jordan, another lefty stick for UCLA facing off against the lefty Northrup. One for one for the designated player Jordan with the run scored. It's working with a two and two count and Bresler Attacks the outside part of the plate and poked it as Perez takes off over to second, puts the wheels on to steal another bag. So Brianna Perez now with six stolen bases on the year. Leading the team in almost every offensive category. And looking at the numbers, Brianna Perez with that steal is now the leader in stolen bases. 
the pitch. And outside corner, and Perez takes off over to third. No throw down. Make that steal number six. So you can, you can tell the amount of respect that they have for Aaliyah Jordan by focusing more on trying to get her out than paying attention to Brianna Perez. UCLA looking for another run here as run number five just 90 feet away. Infield playing in for UNLV. Here's the 2 2 and a slow roller over to short. Diaz's only play is over to first. A throw goes down to home and Perez able to get around the tag. You can put a one spot in the bottom half of the second inning. And UCLA that time gets a run without any hits. Just goes to show you how good of a base running team UCLA is. They don't just get it done with the sticks, but they also get it run with the speed that they possess on the base path. When you have base runners like Brianna Perez, Bubba Nichols, just to name a few. Also, when you have base runners like Anna Vines did not get the starts today, and along with, with Maya Brady, those are some good base runners to have as Rachel Garcia, and they say foul. So it looks like, almost looking like Another home run for the Bruins that time just manages to stay foul. So a long strike for the pitcher. So it's back in the in the box. Here's the one two. Misses away. So Garcia, the lone strikeout victim for Bresler, looking to change things up and help out her own cause. And she goes back to the circle. If she goes back to the circle, she will be working with a five-run cushion. And she's got a full count here. And the three-two just misses outside for ball four. The Bruins will continue to pass the baton as they give it over to Delaney Wiz. Has not recorded an official at bat as she walked and had a run scored. And the pitcher in the circle, Haley Northrup. Lefty trying to get inside on Wiz. So Northrup, this being her freshman year in high school, she played and led it all four years at first and pitcher. And there's a line drive base hit that splits up the gap. Garcia will make it her way from first to third. And Wiz. And a double. So here is Maya Brady. UCLA going into this game 
They are they already led all of the Pac-12 in doubles. Initially came into the game with 39. And now with that double for Wiz, make that number 40. In just 14 games played, ground ball to second, only play is over to first to retire Brady. So number three, UCLA. Number four in the Pac-12 in runs scored, being with 116 runs scored right behind Number 11, Arizona State. They lead the conference with 173 runs. And of course, there's going to be differences due to the pandemic. Arizona State has played 18 games. UCLA has only played 14. So there's going to be a difference as far as the stats are concerned. Right behind Arizona State is number six, Washington. 151 total runs scored. Then right behind Washington is number two, Arizona, with 118. The 3 0. This is outside for a four pitch walk. Every base occupied by UCLA Bruins. It's Kinsley Washington. Recorded an RBI on the fielder's choice. That pitch is a little inside. Washington going to start over in second to add the versatility that she possesses. Hops around in second, plays around in first at times as well. Very good take by Washington, leaving it outside. Finding the pitch that she likes. So with two outs, bases are loaded. The 2-0, missing low. Northrup struggling on command now. Rachel Garcia at third, Delaney Wiz at, at second, and Alyssa Garcia at first. And here comes the pitching coach once again. Gonna have to try to get Northrop back with command. So coach Emily Vincent, the pitching coach, in her first season, as the pitching coach in 2019, the Rebels pitching staff recorded a 2.39 ERA. That's the lowest team ERA since 2005. In her second season in 2020, the pitching staff was off to another blistering start when the year came to an abrupt end of 26 games due to COVID-19. Through five weeks, the Rebel pitchers recorded an impressive 1.71 ERA and 13 shutouts, which both ranked 13th in the nation. So it looks like there's going to be a pinch runner for Delaney Wiz. We're awaiting the official name. It home plate umpire signaled, yes, it's going to be Anna Vines. So 
The Vines will be pinch running for Delaney Wiz to add some more wheels on the base path. Back to it, 3-0, and it's a called strike. Washington was making her way over to first, thought she had an RBI, but Northrup, well-located pitch, painting that outside corner, as the 3-1, another pitch just like the last one, and it'll be ball four. Looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter for Kelly Gooden as Genevieve Perez will be swinging the bat. First pitch is a called strike to Perez. Perez, as a position player, plays as a catcher. So we'll see if she'll stick around take over for Alyssa Garcia. She'll just get an at-bat here. So Perez finds yourself down to the count. No balls, two strikes with the bases loaded. Here with two outs. UCLA leading the way six to nothing. And that's a sharply hit ground ball going foul. Caprez, this will be her second at bat on the year. She does have a walk, so looking for that first base hit, and this would help out in a big way here. And Perez pokes one over to right for a base hit. Vines comes in to score. Another run will come in to score, and UCLA now with an 8 to nothing lead. So a uh, two out, two RBI single by Genevieve Perez. So let's go back to the top of the order with Bubba Nichols. So a good off speed pitch and some good wheels there to steal second. And it looks like that pinch runner for Perez. Just to make sure. That's Kelly Gooden that came up with that steal to second. So Northrup now firing some more strikes over to Bubba Nichols. She finds herself with a two strike count. Here's the 0 2. And a good off speed pitch. Very disciplined take there for Bubba Nichols. This will be the third time around the order for UCLA. Northrop just looking for outs, looking for a one as there's a chopper going down the third base line. Called foul. We're still here in the bottom of the second inning. Eight to nothing. Number three, UCLA with the lead against UNLV. One, two, top speed. Nichols is fighting it off. So going into this week, UCLA did have a very busy week scheduled as after that Sunday game against San Jose State, very next game would be on Tuesday to play against UC San Diego. That would go the full seven and would result in a seven to one win. 
And yesterday, UCLA coming in with a doubleheader and a sweeping of UC Santa Barbara. So they'll have two today as Nichols hits a softly hit liner straight to the glove of Mia Trejo. As UCLA puts another four spot in the bottom of the second as they lead it eight to zilch. We've got a couple of defensive changes for UCLA. Kinsley Washington will shift from second to first. And staying in the game will be Anna Vimes over at second. So first pitch is a ground ball goes under the glove of Brianna Perez. Could not stick to it. And I'm going to call that an E6 on Perez. We're here in the top of the third as UNLV gets her second base runner on. Lauren Barker checking in for the first at bat. Still facing off against Rachel Garcia. So Garcia with the wind. And wow, pitch missed outside. Looks like a very good location there. But the first time through this order. Garcia struck out her first four batters faced. Then it was a one out single by Janisa Martin. It wasn't wasn't a ball that was really hit all that hard. But it's still a line drive in the books. Then Garcia would come right back up with it with back to back K's. A wild fastball by Garcia. She Find yourself behind the count now. There is someone warming up in the UNLV bullpen. We'll see if we're going to get Northrop back in the circle for the Rebels. As the 3 0 pitch misses low for ball four. Still no watch recorded. Here is Maddie Schmidt. 
Schmidt shows bunt, and it's a called strike. So Maddie Schmidt leads the conference in runs scored with 17. She's also third in batting average in the conference in the Mountain West. 413 is her average. She's right behind Caitlin Jennings from Fresno State. 450 is her average. Haley Galvin is, will be batting 440, also for Fresno State. And there's that pitch is swung on and missed. And they're going to call it a strikeout. No need to throw over to first due to that base being occupied. So another strikeout going for Garcia. So Garcia retires Maddie Schmidt on breakfast, lunch, and dinner there in that order. And Lauren takes in the second strikeout victim for Rachel Garcia. Looks like we're getting some darker clouds, darker overcast right above us here. But no rain coming down as... Dixon swings and misses through the first offering to count 0 and 1. So both runners did advance on that strikeout by Schmidt with that pitch in the dirt. So this will be the first time today that UNLV has a pair of runners in scoring position. Garcia looking to get out of this with a clean slate as a 1-1 one, one pitch is swung on and missed by Tixon. Inning start off with an E6, then a walk given up by Garcia, then strikeout to Maddie Schmidt. 1-2. Just misses outside. Looked like Tixon was already ready to walk back to the dugout. Almost like she knew that was a strike three call, but we'll get back in the box. Two balls, two strikes with one out. Garcia with the one. Misses high, and now she's got a full count. That's the first full count of the game that a batter for the Rebels has had in any at bat. Majority of the times it's been Garcia that has had, that has had two strike counts as Tixon swings right through ball four. So a big strike out there for Garcia. Here is Mia Trejo. And it looks like, looks like Coach Fox is making a change here for UNLV. Gonna have a pinch runner. So Zoe Nolte, the pinch runner now over at, at second. Has the more speed on the base path. First offering is waved at and missed by Trejo. So 
So far, UNLV with that overall record is a top of the Mountain West if you're just going based off of overall record. Of course, it all depends on how conference performance goes and such, but they're ahead of San Diego State right behind the Rebels. They're 10 and 4 right behind UNLV. And UNLV having a very good season. Started the season with the Rebels kickoff. Have played most of their games at home. All of the games to be exact. This is their first road game. So they're getting a little taste of what it's like to be away from home. Nice pitch there for Rachel Garcia. One four of the five games in the Rebel kickoff. Lost against, at the time, number two, Washington. Is the 2-2 pitch. Garcia takes a little bit off of that pitch. Tried to get Trejo to chase. We've got ourselves another full count. Garcia trying to win this battle. She's going to step off the rubber. Takes her time. Going to have to look, away, look for that put away pitch. First base is occupied. Runners on second and third. Here's the 3-2, and swing on and missed, and Rachel Garcia gets out of trouble here in the top of the third. UCLA remained with an 8-0 lead. We're going to the bottom of the third on UCLA.com. Bottom of the third inning. Alex Neveka with you guys as it's Rachel Garcia who gets, who strikes out the side in the top half of the inning as Seneca Kuro will be pinch hitting for Brianna Perez. We'll see if Kuro will also stick around in the game as the first one is scorched to third, but Nice diving play by Lauren Barker. So good contact there for Seneca Kuro. Here is Aliyah Jordan. 
Northrup with an off speed pitch in the inner part of the plate for a strike. Or pardon me, that's Taylor Edwards. My apologies on that. So Edwards pinch hitting for Aaliyah Jordan. The one one missing outside. Two and one. So the Bruins giving an opportunity for other players to get some at bats. And Northrup now behind the count, three and one. The three one is stroked over to center but definitely playable for Tixon. Rachel Garcia coming in for her third at bat. She's 0 for 1 with a strikeout, a walk, and a run scored. Rebels looking for their first one, two, three inning. As the first pitch is a ground ball sharply hit through the wickets of Lauren Barker. We'll see if that's an error or a hit. So yep, the official rule for the official ruling, it is a hit. So the inning will stay alive for UCLA. So with two outs and a two out single by Rachel Garcia. And uh, Lauren Carter will pinch run for the pitcher Garcia. So no more one, two, three inning for the Rebels. Anna Vines will get her first turn to swing the bat. Vines, one of the many 300 plus batting averages on the Bruins program as of right now. She is batting 310. Three runs, nine hits with a double and does have a home run. Does have four walks. Does have a 394 batting average. Originally came in to pinch run for Delaney Wiz. And that'll be a four pitch walk for Vines. Maya Brady, one for two, with an RBI single back in the bottom of the first and was out on the 4-3 put out her last time up. So a week from today, UCLA will be in conference action and play They'll start off with Arizona State. They'll be coming over here to LA to be a four game series. One on Friday, two on Saturday, but game two of that double header will be a non-conference game, then one on Sunday.
Then UCLA will head back, will head on the road, and they'll head on over to Berkeley. Last time, UCLA was on the road. He went to Tempe, Arizona. Played three games as Maya Brady will find herself on with a walk. So it looks like a pitching change is going to be made for UNLV. UCLA with the bases loaded here in the bottom of the third with two outs. Eight to nothing is our score. We'll go ahead and step aside here in Easton Stadium on UCLA.com. So every base occupied here in the bottom of the third. Eight to nothing is our score as Jasmine Martin is in the circle. Facing off against Alyssa Garcia. Jasmine Martin, the freshman from Las Vegas, Nevada. So a local for UNLV fans. Martin just looking for this final out and to end the UCLA threat here. They find themselves in another bases loaded situation as the 0-2 pitch is fouled back. Martin out of Shadow Ridge High School, five foot four frame. Yo, two fouled back. So Jasmine Martin, 5.25 ERA with a one and one record. Does have one start of the year with six and two thirds innings of work. Also does have she has also allowed five runs, six walks, eight strikeouts. The opposition is hitting 400. So here's the one two, takes something off of it and a good approach there for Garcia, poking it to left. One run comes in to score, make it two. Order, so Carter and Vines both come in to score.
Kinsley Washington, she's going to get pinch hit for. It'll be Julie Rodriguez. And Tessa Malaulu will be pinch running over in first. So Martin comes set and misses low. So both of those runs will go over to Kaylee Northrup. The only runner that is Jasmine Martins is Tessa Ulu, technically, since she is now the pinch runner. So Julie Rodriguez. This will be her ninth at bat as she pops one out, but will go out of play. does have two base hits on the year, one double with two RBIs and two walks. Coming in with runners on first and second as Rodriguez swings and misses at a pitch inside. As UCLA put a two spot here in the bottom of the third to make it a 10 to nothing lead. More changes for the UCLA defense. As Curl will be playing over in short and playing in a corner infield position at first will be Taylor Edwards. So Denise Armendariz will lead things off for UCLA or excuse me, for UNLV. Garcia with the wind. First pitch down Broadway for a called strike. Armendariz, 0 for 1 with a strikeout looking her first time up. Doris finds herself behind the count with two strikes. So 
we were talking about before, Rachel Garcia, 2019, she won gold medals with USA Softball Women's National Team at the USA Softball International Cup as Garcia adds another strikeout to her collection. Garcia finds herself with 10 strikeouts. Here's Janisa Martin. So she pitched six and two third shutout innings for four games at the International Cup. She's hitting 353, going six for 17 with three RBI. There's a slow blooper going straight to the glove of Kuro. So two outs and the rain starting to come down here in Easton Stadium. Alyssa Trejo steps into the box. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Trejo cuts that and misses the first pitch. Garcia did not allow a run in eight and a third innings at the Pan Am Games. Striking out 10 while also going four for 12. That's good enough for a 333 average. Three RBI at the plate. Posted a flat zero ERA and struck out eight and four two-third innings at the Japan Cup. So Garcia has shown elite stuff, and I still think elite is still very short to summarize how she has pitched throughout this game. has nearly struck out every UNLV hitter. The one two is in the dirt. In the first two at bats for the top part of the order for the hitters one through four, Garcia has collected strikeouts in both times through the four first four hitters. As the 2 2 in there for a strike three call. Make that number 11 for Rachel Garcia. As she has a 1 2 3 inning here in the top of the fourth.
Another good inning for Rachel Garcia as Kelly Gooden will lead, thing up, lead things off for the Bruins. Oh, and one the counts to Kelly Gooden. Pitch missing inside, outside for Jasmine Martin. She played and lettered all four years at a pitcher and outfield for the Mustangs in Shadow Ridge High School. As good one, good in post one, but cannot be played. Natty Schmidt was trying to track that one down, almost lost her footing there. She earned regional and state championships during the 2018-2019 season. Also earned first team all-state pitcher, second team all-region pitcher, and female athlete of the year in 2020. So definitely comes up with some great talent as she strikes out Kelly Gooden. So with one gun, we go to the back of the top of the order with Bubba Nichols. One of the few original starters still in the lineup. Martin averaged 466 in a batting and a 1.78 pitching ERA. Chopper going over to short. What a hop there for Diaz, still able to fire a strike. Spooky hop creeping up on Diaz, able to still rec recover it. So Santa Kakuro to the scorching liner to third, Lauren Barker on the acrobatic play. As Curl swings at the first pitch, skies one in the gloomy conditions, and a Barker there to make the catch. We have ourselves a quick one, two, three inning for UNLV. UCLA still with a 10 run lead here in Easton Stadium on UCLABruins.com. Rebels 
able to record a 1-2-3 inning in the bottom of half of the fourth. Let's go to the top of the fifth. UNLV trailing this one by 10. Diaz Lopez, and we'll see if it ends up being Lauren Barker or Zoe Nolte. I believe Nolte was just there for the pinch runner situation back in the top of the third. So Samantha Diaz will lead things off for UNLV as a first pitch. Two inside, count one and one. Shortstop is second in home runs in the Mountain West Conference with five. Right behind Gabriela Jimenez from the United States Air Force has seven. Diaz. She is also fifth in a slugging percentage to go with those Jimmy Jacks that she's hit. There's a 3 0. It catches that inside corner for a called strike. Right in front of Diaz is Andrea Howard, 842 average from New Mexico. Caitlin Jennings, 800 slugging percentage from Fresno State. Alexa Schultz, 694 from San Diego State. The 3-2 is in the dirt and Garcia loses her. Lopez. This will be her second turn at, with swing in the bat. Last time up, she got on on the fielding air by Brianna Perez. That was the first pitch of, the, of that at bat. She would hit a ground ball and that was more towards Perez, Perez's forehand side. And couldn't come up with the ball cleanly. One and one the count. To Lopez and chops that one going toward the UCLA dugout. So it's Samantha Diaz. That was her first time getting on base. Currently standing at first. If you recall back to the top of the third, it looked like UNLV had something going on, getting a pair of base runners on base. Also got Lauren Barker on with a walk as Garcia strikes out another Rebel. This number continues to increase for Rachel Garcia. Now she has 12 in the game. Lopez, first time she was struck out. So here's Lauren Barker. Her first time up was able to get on with the walk. One of the very few hitters that was able to get on. We mentioned it before. Alyssa Lopez was able to get on with the air. And Janissa Martin was able to get on with a hit. And it is the lone hit that the Rebels have hit. So now Garcia has 
park her where she wants her. But one ball, two strikeouts, plenty of pitches that you could throw here. Try to get Barker to fall off balance. Expect Barker to expand the strike zone. The one, two. And Barker fighting back, refusing to go down on strikes. She has yet to go down on strikes. Most of the batters that have gotten on have been the five hitter and down. The first four hitters where most of the UNLV production has come from have come up pretty quiet. Not much production on that part of the order. Here's the one, two. This is high. Don't forget, we'll have game two of this doubleheader 30 minutes after this one. We'll see if UCLA are able to record the last two outs, no problems. It'll definitely be the end of game one. That's if UNLV goes down quietly here. Expect Garcia to unleash the tank here. Looking for the last two outs to finish off this one. So great at bat going on right now. Lauren Barker initially down to the count. One and two has fought bats and now to fill up the count, making Garcia work here. As the 3-2 pitch catches the outside corner for a strike three call. Garcia absolutely throwing a clinic in this game. Attacking the strike zone throughout the whole entire game has not slowed down, has had her foot on the gas pedal throughout the whole entire game. Now with two outs, going to be a pinch hitter for UNLV. So it's Alexis Barishkov. First pitch is in there for a called strike. So they're going to substitute Maddie Schmidt in that effort. And a chopper going foul. As the Rebels come down to their final strike. So Bereshkoff has not recorded a hit this season. Looking for the first one, and would come up big against Garcia. Here's the two strike count. Just missing outside, didn't miss by much. Any start off with a leadoff walk by Samantha Diaz. Is happy to avoid the strikeout, and swung on and missed. And Rachel Garcia adds another strikeout to the game, and that is ball game here in Easton Stadium. 